Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were filmed stopping dead in their tracks to avoid breaking with royal protocol as they strolled through the halls of Buckingham Palace alongside the Queen. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry appeared alongside other senior members of the royal family to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Prince Charles receiving the title of Prince of Wales. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were pictured strolling through the halls of Buckingham Palace alongside the Queen ahead of the reception the monarch held to honour her eldest son. But the couple was forced to stop in their tracks as they nearly walked out of the room they were passing through ahead of Queen Elizabeth. The royal family usually adheres to a strong order of precedence when walking in a procession, leaving the front spot to the monarch. Video from the event shows Prince Harry and Meghan Markle walking in the background as the Queen and Prince Charles inspect some memorabilia. As the couple prepares to leave the room, the Duke of Sussex can be seen turning his head toward the rest of the family to check the position of his grandmother before seemingly stopping Meghan in her tracks to keep her from walking ahead of the Queen. Members of the family are known to pay very close attention to the order of precedence with Prince Philip traditionally walking one step behind Queen Elizabeth before he retired last year. The Queen has updated the order of precedence on two occasions to take into account the marriage of Prince Charles to Camilla Parker Bowles in 2015, and the marriage of Prince William to Kate Middleton in 2011. Despite being the future Queen, the changes in the order made it so that Kate is expected to bow to blood princesses, Princess Royal. Princess Alexandra, and Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice, when attending royal duties without the Duke of Cambridge. The Duchess of Cambridge however does not have to bend the knee to the princesses when William is alongside her but has to curtsy to the Queen, Prince Philip, Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall. And despite holding the same title as her sister-in-law, it has been suggested Meghan Markle will have to curtsy to Kate when at an event with the Queen in attendance. Royal biographer Andrew Morton said, Kate has established herself as the future queen. At the end of the day, Meghan will be curtsying to Catherine, because she will be the queen. Meghan will always be just a junior member, albeit a very popular one, of the royal family. But despite the prospect of having to show deference to the Duchess of Cambridge, Meghan and Kate put speculation of a rift between them to rest to celebrate their father-in-law with the rest of the royal family. Pregnant Meghan, 37, dressed her blossoming baby bump in a gold and silver floral gown teamed with her trademark stilettos. She has just weeks to go until she is due to give birth to her and Prince Harry's first child. Kate, 37, looked typically stunning in a minute-colored dress with her brunette hair perfectly styled in bouncy curls, 